What would 19-year-old Grant Cardone do? 20-year-old Grant Cardone, just getting out of college, about to get out of college. What would he do different if he could go back? This is what I would do. I would buy real estate. I would have 100% of my attention on buying real estate. Okay? Now, I mean, unless I could have been a brain surgeon or but even if I was a brain surgeon, look, I know brain surgeons that buy real estate, right? Because they know one day their doctoring career, their surgery career is going to be over. Now, what I have in here is a sales department. This is what I, this is how I created my career. I used the sales department to generate enough revenue so I could buy real estate. Uh, this coming, uh, upcoming, I'm going to be doing a webcast, a live webcast for a limited number of people on how to get started in real estate, how I did it. I was 30 years old. I wish I was 20 when I started. I bought a single family home with $3,000 down. Anybody, anybody, no matter who you are, because I was broke at the time, can find three grand. Anyone, okay, that's Jared right there. Jared made, I don't know, three or four million dollars with me investing in real estate. And he started when he was... Jared, how old were you when you started investing? 28. He's 33. Well, how old are you now? 33? 35. 35. Okay. Five years. He's worth about four or five million dollars today because he's invested in real estate with me. So people ask me, hey, what would you do different? If you could go back, this is what I would do. I would invest. First of all, I'd keep the job I have until I could get rid of it. And I would spend all my time finding properties in your market that you can come in rehab with very little money down. Okay, I'm gonna sh I'll show you how to get a loan doing it. It's very easy. It's, e it's really easy to get a loan. Even if you have bad credit, it's easy to get a loan on a piece of property uh, that has income. See, the properties that I was buying in the beginning didn't have income, so they were a little harder. I didn't learn this until later. If you buy properties like the one behind me, or even that one, those are too big when you're getting started. That's the kind of stuff I do today. I'll do an $80 million deal across the street. That deal is probably going to sell for, I don't know, it could be $100 million. I'll do those kind of deals today, but when I was getting started, I'm 20 years old. Let's say I don't have any money. I'm just coming out of college. I got a job, so it's going to have to be part-time. I'm going to find a little single-family house and flip it. I'm going to find uh, maybe a, a retail spot, go in and rehab it and find a tenant for it. I'm going to do it with little or no money down. I'm going to keep it, let it cash flow, go back to the bank. I'll show you how to do this. Go back to the bank and then based on the new cash flow of the property, I'm going to get a loan on it. Banks love to lend money on real estate that produces income. God, I wish I had known this. If you don't know it, ask your uncle, okay? Ask your aunt. Ask your grandparents. Just go back and ask your great your grandparents. Say, hey, if you could have invested in real estate where you grew up for the last 60 or 70 years, how rich would you have been, Grandpa? And he's going to tell you, oh, my God. If I could have bought it and kept it, that I'd be rich. If I could have bought it and had it cash flow while I was in it, Grandpa would tell you, I would be super rich. But this is proven out for J.P. Morgan, the Rockefellers, the Railroad Titans, like everybody. Amazon's doing real estate today. Even with technology, big companies, when they get big, they need real estate. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I just wanted to share with you, what's your big regret, by the way? What is your biggest regret? What, what, no, what is the thing you would go back and do different if you were 20 years old? Hope this helps you, okay? I hope you uh, take this information, this advice uh, well. I, I spent from the age of 20 to 23 in college. I should have been looking at real estate the whole time. Hey, Ryan, Ryan Secco. When did you start investing in real estate? How old? Yeah. How old was that, 24? See, I, people are asking me, hey, what would you do if you were 20 years old again? I said, I'd spend all, I'd spend all my off time learning about real estate. I'd go to courses. Have you ever been to a course? Oh, many courses. Yeah. yeah. I get around people who are doing deals. It's not what they're doing. It's not right now. Yeah. Get around people that are doing deals. Get around people that are talking real estate. Get around people that will share their time, their energy, their intellect, their experiences. Where's the money come from? Where's the debt come from? Where do the investors come from? Where are the deals? How do I even contact somebody about a deal? How do I make an offer? How do I negotiate a deal? That's what I would do if I was 20 years old again. Because here's the deal with real estate different than a job. You can get fired from a job. You can lose a job, 
company can go out of business. A lot of things can happen. Real estate? Oh, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. Question is, how much will it pay you? Who will own it? Who will own it when it goes up in value? You don't want to pay too much. You got to know how to negotiate it, right? You got to know how to get it to cash flow so you can keep it. What happens when the economy gets bad? That's what I'm teaching these guys, okay? I'd love to teach you how to do it. I tell these guys all the time, dude, buy real estate. How many times have I told you guys, buy real estate? Every day. Okay? And by the way, we're not buying real estate in this office. They're cutting video. And I tell them, in your off time, learn the real estate game, buy you some real estate. Hey, join me for this great live webcast. I'll show you exactly how I did it, how I got started. No money down, no financing, no knowledge, no deals, no contacts. And I did it, started with $3,000 have $1 billion worth of real estate today and going up, okay? Look forward to, to, to working with you. And hey, let me know if you ever got a deal. Maybe we partner on it.